we were talking about this in the uh, video before this. I was telling you all that the successful television show goes from that first initial episode to the second one. If they can pull it off, is an expansion of the world in that second episode, a new character to be introduced and further deep diving into what was established in episode one. Well, I, I'm kind of surprised and uh, happily uh, surprised, a little shocked that episode two, One Wrong Call, is so well done because it, it does that and more. So I'm going to break down what I see that uh, this episode uh, two called One Wrong Call, uh, why it makes it really really excellent compared to the first one, right? You're still in that Michael Bay world, but here's the big surprise for me. There was absolutely no action in this film. Sure, there was shakedowns and some uh, kind of like, you know, funny, you know, characters that the cops are running into to shake people down and then uh, made some arrests, but there was no explosions. There was no like this, you know, big blockbuster happening. It was like detective... Uh, Police work happening right before us, hunting down clues, making arrests, and, uh, you know, doing a little uh, kind of, uh, you know, shakedown as far as uh, the questioning in, the, in their, their their safe houses. One, one uh, so that really, uh, I was really impressed with that. Uh, and it, it, it showed me why this uh, Rohit uh, is uh, pretty talented, the, uh, the creator and the, and the director. Um, one wrong call refers to the young Muslim uh, member of the terrorist group, the, the villains, that makes a call to his parents. And this is right at the end of episode two, but he's established throughout as uh, the youngest member of this group that uh, pulled off uh, all the uh, bombings in episode one and how he just misses his family. And he's, he's very vulnerable. I think he's like, you know, sick. And uh, uh, our head guy, uh, uh, what was his name? I believe is Kabir. Let me get his name for you guys. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, no, excuse me. Z Z Zarar. Zarar, who's the head baddie, um, kind of talks him down off the cliffs. And you got to, you know, control your emotion so we can accomplish the mission. So he's saying that to this young man and, uh, you know, he, he thinks he's, he's got him, uh, he's got him a uh, squared, uh, squared away, but even tells his, his troops, uh, his people say, like, keep an eye on him. He's going to make a mistake. And, uh, sure enough, right at the end of this episode, he makes that mistake. But by then the cops had already, uh, tracked down, uh, his family. And uh, they they pretty much uh, know where these guys are at. Really good episode, man. I, I was really surprised how much I liked it compared to the first one. The first one is just so generic compared to this one. So let's go back though. Uh, another th another another uh, really uh, kudos to this second episode. Really well done. Was in the beginning. Our one of our heroes, uh, Kabir, played by Siddharth. They um they show you a flashback, but you're not quite sure it's a flashback right away with him and his wife, Rashmi. And it, it, it it's a it's it's a simple, wonderful little scene where they're talking about the change in weather. Okay, as something as mundane as that, and then how she knows him and he gets nervous. He wears the wrong pairs of socks. So I'm already seeing way more in our lead character than I saw in his entire episode of that first episode. I got nothing from him. Remember I was telling you, I got this guy's kind of, these heroes are kind of just a little one dimensional. We got the three dimensional here. Fantastic. Fantastic. And then the cut, the jump cut to he's in different clothes in the same room and him, his mother comes in. He said, like, "You're wearing you're wearing your different pairs of socks." And then it's established he's lost his wife from to lupus. That was a really great, well done montage. I and I absolutely loved uh, uh, Ramesh, R R R excuse me, Rashmi, 
the uh, the actress Isha was fantastic in that in that little scene. Then they go into a a song. There's no there's no singing and dancing, but there's definitely a a, a song montage, kind of them, you know, uh, hanging out. This uh, I believe it's some sort of uh, kind of I want to say I, I don't even know what kind of castle it is. It was a beautiful setting. It was really well done. I was completely unexpected, and you know, again, kudos to Rohit because. I did not see that coming at all from episode one. Episode one, I was like, oh, this is like, you know, Michael Bay meets, you know, C CBS procedural uh, detective drama, cop show. Here, it's like you get that nice kernel of three dimension, you know, uh, with this character. And I was like, okay, I like this character now. And they went with that with, uh, you know, throughout. Uh, he, he mentions uh, the, the wife and then the connection with the two, with the two, uh, with the two uh, uh, lead guys. So well done there. And so, they, like I said, they hunt down leads. Then we're introduced also to Tara Shaidi, played by Shilpa. And... Um, as of right now, she wasn't in it a lot. It wasn't too excited about her first couple of scenes. Towards the end, the last scene where she's at the birthday party was uh, I was starting to see a, a little a little special spark there. Uh, also, to so Kabir's uh, uh, kind of a boss is Vikram. We're getting a little bit more from him as well. So more character development. Uh, played out throughout this episode as they're, like I said, doing police work. And uh, there, there's a couple little funny funny characters in there. And then there's this one huge uh, Indian police guy uh, that you see throughout the, throughout the, uh, uh, the episode. <laughs> he does a great job. He's just, he's a beast. He's huge. Uh, all right. So, that being said, they do move the story along with hunting down and tracking down uh, the, the Muslim gang uh, and that it might be connected to a religious leader who's political. So that could be problematic with uh, with the with the chief. And he's even saying it's like, you know, don't don't arrest him. And then he turns around. But, you know, when I was young, I didn't ask my superior to make an arrest. And I said sorry later so he's basically like you know you know apologize after the fact so uh yeah yeah definitely uh a, a huge step forward in in this series for me i i almost wish that they had inter intercut a little bit of episode one into here and that's where i could see the problem that uh the critics may be having if they saw all seven episodes is that this thing may be just be too spread out. But I got to tell you, self-contained, this episode two was really well done. And then we also got our, our head guy, the Zahar, Zarar, in a potential love situation. And he's the guy who's been trying to control his own emotions and the emotions of his men. Then he's, he's basically falling for his landlady. So that could be interesting. I see a lot of tragedy that's going to happen there. I don't see that playing out well. I don't see that to be a happy ending. All right, guys. Uh, yeah. So those are those are uh, you know my thoughts, my reactions, and many spoilers to episode two of Indian Police Force season one, episode two called "One Wrong Call." And uh, if you didn't catch that episode one review, man, you gotta you gotta get on over there right now and check that review out because then you could compare i want you to compare episode one review to episode two review and then we, we keep moving along and uh we'll be doing these episodics for you as well all right guys wherever you're at keep that slam fuerte gracias